Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chris Chris Han. My Instagram is Chris Han XOXO. As you can see, I am wearing pearls on my face. Yes, for today's video, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial using products from Florasis. I have been featuring their products in a few videos already. I love their products. It's a very innovative cosmetic brand founded by the Westlake in China. I am totally in love with the romantic aesthetics from the beautiful packages, dreamy colors they have, and the skin color ingredients that they put in the products. These shades, oh my god, they're so beautiful in the cases, but I'm gonna show you how they would look on the skin. So let's get started. Okay, I just start with a clean base. I have some light primer and brushed up brows already. Florasis has this amazing ginseng care lip balm that works like a lip mask. I like to apply some before anything else to soft my lip skin and reduce lip wrinkles. So the lips will be ready for colors later on. The packaging is a little bit extra with a little tiny bowl with a mini spoon. This is so nice. Look at my lip skin. It looks plump and smooth right after use. This is so comfortable. These days, my skin has been doing great. I'm wearing more concealer than foundation, just to create a perfect version of my own skin tone, own complexion, instead of a fully covered skin tone. So I'm using only concealer today for my base. I'm actually applying products to hide my hyperpigmentations on the cheekbones, dark circles under eye, redness under my nose, and a little bit on smile lines. I'm pretty conscious about these areas. Just give it a good blend to create a seamless, natural look. To set the liquid base, I'll be using two different products from Florasis. The first one is this Flawless Jade Breathable Setting Powder. The design of the casing is really unique. You have to turn this lid and open the case. It comes with a nice puff and a mirror. My shade is Mist 03. It looks translucent and it's a matte finish. I'll just go ahead and apply onto one side of the face so that you can see the difference. This setting powder feels super light and breathable. No caking, no creasing. The powder goes smoothly onto the skin without changing the color. It sets the makeup for 24 hours. It's very long wearing and this unique talk free formula is good for all skin types, including acne point skin and sensitive skin. On the next side of the skin, I'll be using its sister product, Flawless Jade Breathable Pressed Powder. As you can see, the package is even fancier with colorful reflections from different angles. The puff that comes with it has a leather back. It's very luxurious. My shade is O2, which is also a translucent matte finish. It's great for all skin tone because it's clear, it's translucent, it doesn't change the color of the skin, and it creates a very lightweight, misty, matte, and airy finish. I love, love this product. The formulations of the two powders are very similar. This one is more compact because it's a pressed powder. Very long wearing, very friendly to the skin, not drying the skin at all. They are actually very nourishing. The loose powder and the pressed powder, which one would you like? For the eye makeup, I'll be using Eastern Romance Eyeshadow Palette's Pearl Edition. This eyeshadow palette is a part of the new gift set. You're the pearl of my eye. Shade 520 and 521. I'll be using both of them in today's look. Let me do the swatches on my skin first so you can see how the powders would look like when they are not layered. This palette 520 has a very beautiful and unique color combo with a shimmering copper brown and a dazzling like very shiny white and a coral color and also a warm tone like peachy beige color. So for this one, I feel like I'm going to wear it for both my eye color and also my complexion as well. And for the next palette, the palette 521, the shades are lighter and more dreamy. It's got a matte violet purple. This one is very light, but it's also pigmented. I can see this beautiful color on the skin. And the next one is this cool tone matte pink. This color is so fairy tale inspired. It's so romantic, but very wearable. This one can be a beautiful base color. The next shade is really popping. This is like eye blinding dazzling violet color. It's so beautiful. It feels like silver-ish and violet on the skin. 
The last one is this matte light pink, and this color is very wearable. You can use it as a base color or a transitioning color. These are all the four shades of this palette. Everything looks so gorgeous. They are more gorgeous on the skin. Now let's wear this color for the eyes. I'll be going into with the 520 palette first. This light beige color will make a beautiful base. This brush is also from Florences. I just use it to apply onto the entire eyelids. A very sheer light coverage. Love the satin finish. It fits like naturally. And the powder stays on the skin. It doesn't like fall out anything. Love the texture of the product. And then follow with the shimmering cobra brown color to add some dimensions onto the eyes. It gives a nice depth. Just focus on the crease. Swipe the leftover powder on the brush outwards. Also, I'm going to add some warm tones with this coral shade. It's very pigmented on the skin. This color just pops on the eyes. It just sets the tone of the whole look. I love it. It works with my complexion. It's also fun to add a little bit shine with this shimmering silver white color in the middle of the eyelids. And this is actually inspired by the color of pearl. So I only used my fingers to apply so that the shimmers can stay in place. I don't want to smudge all the colors on the eyes. So it looks nice, but it's a little bit too flat for a pearl makeup. So I'm going to just add more cool tone shades from the other palette. 521. The two light purple colors, the matte violet and the sparkly violet, worked so well with this look. I'm going a little bit extra with double sparkles with this shade. It's so satisfying. Look at this. It's to imitate a pearl under lighting. It's so beautiful. And then I'll be using the small brush that came with the palette to apply some shimmering brown onto the outer bottom lash lines and the shimmering white onto the inner bottom lash lines. And also further pop the eyes with some shimmering white onto the inner corners. This is so beautiful. This step completes the whole eyeshadow makeup. I'm very happy. And then quickly add some small wings on the eyeliners. Just keep it very subtle and minimal. I don't want to override the beautiful shadows. What do you think? For the lashes, I'll just skip the full lashes today. I'll use a lengthening mascara to apply two coats. My goal is to create a very clean and elegant pearl look. So this is the right amount of product to sculpt and define the lashes. Now let's move on to the lips. This is the fun part. I have two different lipsticks from the gift edition, which is Love Lock Lipstick Pearl Edition. Love Lock is actually a token of love in ancient China. So beautiful. I have this shade M21, which is warm, bright red color. And the other one is M520. It's a neutral tone, deeper, rosy red. Just take a look at the beautiful carving of the lipstick. It's actually a very tough choice between the two beautiful shades. I love both of them. And I'm going to do a swatch on my skin and uh, just match it with my look. Which one do you like? Now I kind of like this M21 a little bit better. It's a little bit brighter and lighter. And this color will match my pearl look like perfectly. I'll just go ahead and apply the lipstick onto my lips. And it feels very moisturizing on the skin. To add more dimension, I'll use a small lip brush to line the whole lips. If I have any mistakes, I can easily correct it with a smaller brush like this. With the lip mask at the beginning of the video and also this nourishing lipstick formula, my lip skin feels so comfortable and very nicely moisturized. Just to be a little bit extra, I am going to add a little bit white shimmer onto the center of the lips. This is just like to modernize the whole look and make it more pearl inspired. Now let's try the same palette for complexion as well. I'll be using this coral pink onto my cheeks as a blush. And it works actually very, very well. And it coordinates with the eyeshadow color like so perfectly. I just apply with my finger and blend it well with a medium sized brush like this. 
And then I'm gonna apply this brown color, this shimmering brown as my bronzer. It's really fun to use this color and to define my nose tip like a little bit. And I also use the same brush to give it a good blend. Nose contouring is something that I occasionally do. It's very personal. You can definitely skip this part if you don't feel like. And white shimmer works also like a highlighter. And I just apply onto my nose tip and cheekbones whenever I need a little bit extra pop. All these fluorescent products on the skin are very nourishing, very friendly, gentle to the skin. It's got a lot of nice ingredients. The face pearl sticker from the gift set is perfect for my look. Now just play around with these pearls, apply onto different areas around the eyes to make it extra popping and dreamy. The sticker is very sticky itself, but you can secure the stickers with your eyelash glue if you want. This step is actually easier than it looks like. So this is done. This is my pearl makeup look using Floracess products. Everything has been so wonderful. I'm gonna pick up anything from Floracess. I have the product links in the description. You can go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I just can't wait to take more photos with this look and share content on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.